What is your manifesto? Our manifesto is called the Value Addition Plan, and it is anchored on six key mm. pillars. Mm. We believe that given an opportunity, we will end corruption. Mm. We will grow our economy to create the jobs that mm. Kenyans need. We will provide transformative education to our children so we do not produce people who expect to be employed right. but look to create value and the jobs that are required by others who are not entrepreneurs mm. we will ensure the delivery of quality mm -hmm. affordable and accessible health care mm. and by that i would start by saying that since there is already a framework for nhif to be a fund where everyone that is of eligible age to contribute yes these funds will not be used to pay for services procured mm. in private institutions mm -hmm. so we will bring our public institutions to speed to be able to compete favorably mm -hmm. with the private institutions that we have the case right now is public institutions yes. are left for the poor people mm -hmm. But given an opportunity, we will revolutionize health mm -hmm. and ensure that Kenya is, has already emerged in the region right. as a medical tourism hub, mm. will now become the new India mm. for Africa, mm -hmm. not just this region. Mm. We have the personnel, we have the training, mm -hmm. we even have a history of excellence in the field. Mm. What we have lacked are priorities being put right yes if we are elected to head the next government mm -hmm. and with your presidency mm -hmm. will guarantee that there's proper partnership with the diaspora mm. so that projects such as the expressway that was a ppp yes is first given to those of us who are out there and sent money back here mm -hmm that help our economy mm. so this meaningful teaming with diaspora is a key pillar in our manifesto mm. but above all these for kenya to be peaceful mm. we must guarantee security mm. and we cannot have security if today after 59 years of independence right. we still have people who are going to bed hungry mm. so food security is a thing we are going to ensure happens mm. the high cost of living in kenya is fueled by the fact that a huge chunk yes. of our budget yeah. is basically food mm. kenya being an agricultural country must find a way to feed its citizens mm. without looking to import food and it's a shame that we import from as far yes. as Europe. Mm -hmm. So when a calamity like the war between Ukraine and Russia happens, someone in Shamahoho mm. cannot enjoy their dinner. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying we have policies that have been informed by input from the ground. Yes. And given a chance, we're going to make this nation great.